Hey everyone, Dale here with Pacific Sun Technologies. I'm pretty excited to talk to you today about the newly released and completely groundbreaking technology of the LG Neon R 440 watt solar panel and the LG Neon R Prime 425 watt all black solar panel. But before I dive into the nitty gritty details of how these two amazing LG solar panels stack up, please take a second to subscribe to the channel. Yeah. Go ahead, click that button down below, and hey, while you're at it, why don't you click that little bell icon too? That way, you'll receive notifications on future videos just like this. We have some pretty exciting content coming in the coming weeks, and I can't wait to share it with you, so don't miss out. Use that button down below. Of course, let's not forget to inquire about going solar if you are someone that lives in our area of Southern California and you haven't made the switch already to renewable energy. Now's the time to do it. There are some big policy changes taking ground in California that could really detriment your ability to save money after switching to solar. So you probably want to get a quote from us and I've included a link in the description below so that way you can get one through our hassle-free quote program. We make it easy and affordable for you to make the switch to renewable energy and start saving the planet and the money goes back in your wallet. It's really good, it's a win-win. All right, so let's talk about LG and their Neon R lineup because this is not your ordinary solar panel, oh no. This is your Dodge Demon fully loaded, ready to go to the drag strip and kick some butt, or better yet, that new Ford Lightning fully loaded platinum edition that can back up your whole freaking home during a power outage. Yeah, if you, you haven't heard about that, definitely look into it. This is a no holding back kind of solar panel with no power left on the table. The only downsize is this kind of tech comes at a price, but I honestly think it's easily justified and I'm going to tell you why. I've come up with five categories to cover and I'll be awarding up to five points per category. The higher the score, the better. I mean, pretty easy. And at the end, we'll tally the scores up and then we'll average it out and see how good this LG panel does. This is going to be more of a general overview of the LG Neon R and their Neon R Prime. The R is 440 watts and the Prime is 425 watts. These panels are amazing, so, and they're brand new too. The five categories will be design, durability, efficiency, performance, and guarantee. These are really the main aspects of any panel when you're comparing them. And I'll include some tech information along the way so that way you get a really good understanding of the panel and why it might be so amazing. But we'll know at the end. Starting with design. Visually assessing the LG Neon R and the Prime provides good insight into the overall design quality. LG has an incredible high standard of quality control, so you won't find any excess silicon around the rear edges. They've also managed to reduce the weight of the panel by using an ultra lightweight construction of aluminum and by also reducing the amount of glass on the front of the panel. Understanding more about the technical design aspect of the Neon R and the Prime, they have incorporated a back contact design. This is something where the bus bars on the front of the cells have been relocated to the rear side. Now, this isn't new technologically speaking, but it is for LG in the sense of their Neon R line. I mean, they've been doing this on the Neon Rs for a while, but their Neon 2s don't do this as these are the only two panels that actually do, because it does cost more. Back contact refers to no bus bars on the front of the solar cell, but rather on the rear side. This method has been proven to increase production and efficiency of the solar panel by increasing the surface area of the cell to convert light into energy. I know it might seem like hard to imagine, but that little wire on the front, you know, all those little wires actually really add up to a lot of surface area. 
LG took this even further and improved the electrical flow design to allow for lower electrical resistance and improved higher temperature performance, which I'll be going over soon. The last design improvement LG made to the Neon R and the Prime was to increase the cell count from the industry standard of 60 to 66. So this panel is a little bit taller. I think it's like four or five inches. And this has, you know, like I said, increased the height, and, but it's also given it a significant boost in power output. I mean, we literally went from their original LG Neon R lineup, which as of last year was 380 watts capped out. It's now 440. I mean, we literally added a row of cells and we jumped up 60 watts. That's insane. All in all, I gotta give LG credit where it's due and they deserve a, a 4.8 rating on the design of the Neon R and the Prime. There is no other panel out there so well designed. Moving into durability. LG has constructed these panels with a double wall aluminum frame which creates a, for a very impressive Pascal rating of 6,000. Now, many of us aren't gonna be familiar with Pascal. Heck, I barely understand how it is, but in more common terms, that's 125 pounds per square foot. So that's how much pressure it can absorb or withstand without taking any damage. This of course is on the front side of the panel, while the rear side is actually rated for up to 5,400 pascals or 113 pounds per square foot. It's worth noting that the, e, the IEC industry standard for solar panels to pass is only 2,400 pascals. So it's like, this is pretty much three times double, however you wanna take that into account. LG has put the Neon R and Prime through some very extreme testing conditions and have surpassed the required testing ratings. One test, they achieved well over 4,000 hours under extreme damp heat tests and the panels only had a degradation of roughly 3.5%. Now, that's a lot. And if you research the DHT test, you will see how intensive that can be. They also went above and beyond for the standard testing requirements in a thermal cycle test, which takes the panel up to extreme temperatures and then extreme cold temperatures. They did 800 cycles and only had an impairment of 1.4%. So that's, I mean, it's crazy. It's literally crazy that they're doing this. It's worth noting that in both these tests, I'm referencing the Neon R and the Prime had no sign of potential induced degradation and the salt mist resistance for coastal region was well in line with IEC 6170 for max severity of six and an ammonia resistance for those of you that live on farms thinking about going solar for agricultural, which was met under IEC 62716. There was one more test LG really impressed us with, and that was its hail impact. This is something a lot of people don't talk about, but I wanna bring it up, and it's important. So remember they reduced the thickness of the glass on the front to save weight? I had mentioned that earlier. Well, the LG engineers thought ahead, and they included a substrate with that glass to help it withstand hail impacts up to 35 millimeters at 27 meters per second. Okay, let me put this in Imperial because we're here in the US. That's a 1.4 inch piece of hail traveling at 60 miles per hour. Holy crap. You know, if you, that's, 1.5 inches is a pretty big piece of hail and traveling at 60 miles per hour for it to hit a panel and not break, that's impressive. So I'm gonna give LG for durability a 4.7 rating on the Neon R and the Prime. It'd be cool if it did like a two inch piece of hail or maybe a two and a half inch. 1.4 is pretty impressive, so I'm dinking them a little bit there. Now, let's get into the more interesting aspects of any solar panel, and that's the efficiency. Both of these panels offer some of the industry's highest ratings. The Neon R is rated at 22.1% efficiency. That's really high. And the Neon R Prime is right behind it at 21.4%. Mind you, that's an all black solar panel. And this leading efficiency rating is even more amazing when you look at the temperature coefficient. This gets brought up a lot, which is less than negative 0.3% Celsius degrees. 
The lower the temperature coefficient, the better the panel will actually produce in real world conditions, especially here in warmer clients like Southern California. The Neon R and Prime also feature a rather impressive positive power tolerance of zero to positive 3%. This rating isn't discussed too often, but for most solar panels, it's a plus or minus zero to 3%. LG is only saying your panel is going to produce what it's rated at or more right off of the factory line. So that's typically a variation slightly in most panels. And LG is pretty much guaranteeing you're either gonna get 440 watts or you're getting more, 3% more potentially. I mean, what can I see? I mean, the Neon R and the Prime offer superior efficiency. And when you take into account their positive power tolerance, I gotta give them a 4.9. We're moving on to the next most asked question when it comes to any solar panel, and that's its performance. The LG Neon R is produced with two EL flash tests, both before and after lamination of the cells to ensure there are absolutely no defects or micro cracks that you typically can only see when they're x-rays. This ensures, this goes back to quality control, that you are getting a panel that is 100% gonna operate above what they're saying. It's crazy, they, they got crazy quality control. This really also emphasizes the significance of their monocrystalline N-type solar cells that they've developed they really start to shine here because of this. LG really thought of everything and the Neon R and the Prime boost one of the industry's lowest rate of degradation per year for performance, especially when compared to the industry standard. Now, the first year degradation is less than 1.5%. So your panel should not degrade in that first year more than 1.5%, giving you the rest of the year or over the course of the next 25 years, a degradation of 0.25% until year 25, which then you should have a minimum rating of 92.5% of the original nameplate rating. Basically, you're only losing 7.5% of your power potentially over the course of the 25 years. And I bet these panels aren't gonna degrade anywhere near that, and LG probably knows it. Overall, the Neon R and the Prime offer a very, very impressive performance rating, beating just about every solar manufacturer and panel on the market. So what else do I gotta give LG besides the 4.9? I'm dinking them just a little because I, I, I'm just being nitpicky. I want that first year degradation to be 1%. I think that would be phenomenal, that they pretty much only could potentially lose the most is 1% that first year. Now we're nearing the end of the categories and you'll soon know the overall rating of the Neon R and the Prime Panel, but we have to go over the guarantee first. LG offers a very comprehensive 25 year product warranty on all of their solar panels, not just the Neon R, but also the Neon 2. One thing LG offers though over the competition is a 25 year labor warranty as well, which covers up to $450. That's important because some companies might do only do 100, some do 200, some do 250. Solaria offers 500, they're the only one that's more. And basically, if that panel gets damaged or needs to be replaced because it failed, they're gonna cover the labor for up to $450, and of course, the panel. LG has noted on several occasions in conversations with them and in some of their webinars, that they have one of the industry's lowest failure rates. And while I don't have an exact number, they have kind of implied that it's less than 0.01% annually for their entire solar panel lineup. And that is significantly less for the Neon R. So I don't know exactly how low it is, but it's, it's low. With that said, LG stands behind their products. They're a solid company. They're very reputable and credible when it comes to this stuff. So I'm gonna give them a five. They deserve it for this type of warranty. Now, if you've been following along and adding these up, you may know the overall score, but here they are. Design was a 4.8, durability 4.7, efficiency 4.9, performance 4.9, and the guarantee five. Overall, LG has a 4.86 rating from us.
I mean, you could round it up to a 4.9, but I mean, this is pretty much a solid panel, no matter how you look at it. Now, for those of you that are anxious to get the LG Neon R or Prime, good, we got them in stock. So go ahead and get a quote. We got a link down below for you. But I'm not gonna leave you hanging without some kind of pricing here in this video. So here are two options that are both roughly a seven kilowatt using Enphase IQ7 microinverters. These are really what these microinverters were designed for, these types of panels. If you're putting or asking for IQ7As on a 380 watt panel, you're kind of wasting money. The seven plus is more than sufficient in most cases for that. It's important to note that the pricing shown does not include any promotional discounts we may have going on or LG, because they typically have some good promotions going on on the Neon R. I remember when they first got released in 2018, they were giving away 4K TVs to people. Yeah, 55 inch to be exact. So I strongly recommend that you request a hassle-free quote by using that link in the description below for the most accurate pricing on your specific needs. As you can see, the Neon R 440 is roughly $22,800 before that 26% federal tax credit, which is, if you take that into account, you're looking at a net cost of 16,877. The Neon R 425 Prime, which is the all black version, is roughly $22,341 before the 26% federal investment tax credit for solar, which after that, you'll have a net cost of $16,532. Remember, these are premium solar panels so you really should be comparing them to other premium solar panels if you compare this pricing to a 300 watt panel or a 330 watt panel or a 370 watt panel that is not a fair or equal comparison by any means well that's it for this week's video i really hope you found it helpful in determining if the lg neon r is really as good as it sounds because i think it is i think you're going to agree be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel by using that link in the description below and of course request a quote from us thanks again for watching until next time